Welcome to our new and improved step-by-step -step video for setting up your Glawning. We'll use a standard height 5m original Glawning. This comes in a convenient carry bag and the poles and pegs in bags of their own. It includes 12 guy ropes, small pegs and stakes, two A-frames for the doors and a central pole. Firstly, lay the canopy ground sheet alongside the van with the beaded edge closest to the van. Next, lay the tent ground sheet adjacent to the awning ground sheet with one of the double zipped doors next to the canopy and the other facing the desired direction. Undo the ties on the tent canvas and unroll it, making sure the edges of the ground sheet and the tent canvas roughly align. The glowing badge on the canvas should be positioned between the two door sections on the ground sheet. Now begin zipping the edges of the ground sheet and the bell tent together. There is a small zip between the doors and another larger zip that goes around the rest of the glowing. Finally, for the door, there are two zips running along the bottom edge. Zip the bug mesh to the base first, and then the outer canvas door. Tuck the zipper ends and the ground sheet fold inside, then clip the sides of the door together and fold the storm flap down. Next, zip the canopy canvas to the door of the glowing. It helps to turn the storm flap at the apex of the door inside out to make the zipping easier. Before pegging the canopy ground sheet, make sure it's flush with the tyres and in the correct position to connect. Starting with the two pegging loops or orange tabs closest to the van, use the small pegs to peg out every corner of the glowing. You won't need to peg the metal D-rings unless you roll up the walls later. Locate and unzip your main door before assembling your centre pole by slotting the four sections together. This is made easier by the elastic cord linking the sections. Make sure to pretend you're entering into battle, or just an over-enthusiastic javelin thrower. Enter the tent pole first and use it to lift up the apex, marked with a canvas circle. Position the pole vertically, making sure of course that you haven't pegged the ground sheet too tightly. Congratulate yourself on completing the hardest part of the tent assembly. Next, assemble the A-frames. Make sure to leave the top notch undone so you can get the frames inside the tent more easily. To get the A-frames in place, insert the spike into the hole at the apex of the door and then slot the feet into the floor pockets on either side. It helps to hold the ground sheet in place using your feet. Remember to pop the brain caps on the spikes at this stage. Next, attach the glowing to the camper van. If you have an awning rail, use a driveaway kit to make this easier. First, slide the K-door strip into the awning rail and then slide the three figure eight attachments onto the K-door strip. You can then slide the edge of the awning into the other side of the figure eight attachments. When you've pitched your glowing, you can just slide this out and drive away and later return to a fully set up awning. The next step is laying the matting, which is technically optional, but it adds extra padding and protection. Unfold the matting one side at a time and reposition the centre pole so that it holds both sides in place where the matting overlaps. Get your guy ropes and find the two longest ones to attach to the doors. Slide the rope through the loop at the apex and tie a double knot to secure it. Next, attach the smaller ropes to the canvas loops at each corner of the glowing in the same way, double knotting as you go. To create the loops in the ends of the guy ropes, pull the rope through the metal clip at the end and lay the ropes out flat. Use the stakes to secure the guy ropes in place, making sure the ropes are in line with the seams on the tent. Hammer the stakes at a 45 degree angle for stability. To tighten the ropes, hold them taut by the knot and pull the metal clip along the rope towards the tent. Finally, unzip the entrance and roll both doors back, securing with the ties. And there you have it. Time to sit back, relax and enjoy the luxurious extension to your camper van. Make sure to share photos of you enjoying your glownings with us on social media.